Hey guys, so we are back with a new video and in this video you practically learn how to configure shadow copies. Now, for those who knew, you can see in the previous video we had learned the theoretical part of shadow copies that is the know and how of what is a shadow copy and why do we configure it. So now in this video you see practically of how can you configure a shadow copy in a Windows server. Point number one, it is a server feature and not a feature given to you in the client operating system. So yes, you can only find it in the server. Point number two, shadow to be taken of the entire drive and not of a particular folder. That means whenever you try to configure a shadow copy, it would only be of the drive for example, C, D or E volumes and not of an individual folder. So now, what's our scenario? So in my server, I have a C drive in which I have a folder for the employee name as Bob. So now, I have also created a map drive for the same employee Bob on his own machine. What if Bob deletes a particular file or a particular folder? So now, if he asks you to get it back, the only solution for this would be configuring a shadow copy in advance through which you can restore the deleted file or the folder. So let's do this. Now, on my server, I have this drive which is C drive and if I right click on this, I can see an option saying configure shadow copy. So what do I do is I simply say create. So as you can see I have a shadow copy getting created. Now let's see what happens if the employee Bob deletes this particular file. Now he has deleted this file and if he asks me to get the file back, it's so damn easy. What do I do is I simply right click on his own map drive and say restore previous versions. To restore means to get back which was lost or what is deleted. So now as you can see, I have one shadow copy available. If I open this, I can see this particular file. What will I do is I will copy this and paste it to the original location of Bob's map drive. So here's it guys, the file is back. Not only is the file back, but also the content within the file is back. So it is that easy. Just by creating one shadow copy, you can always restore files or folders within that shadow copy if in case an employee has deleted those files. But yes, you do have various other settings for this shadow copy. So what do we do is we'll have a look at the various options. Now creating it manually each time can be hectic or it may so happen that the employee forgot you know to manually take a shadow copy. So in such a scenario what do you do is you can set a schedule by going in this tab settings. If I go over here there's an option saying schedule and I can set the days as well as the time so on that day on that particular time the shadow gets created automatically without me having to manually take it. Not only this, where is the shadow getting saved? So the answer is shadow gets saved in the drive itself. For example, I can see my drive is C. So it's the C drive and shadow is also getting saved by default at the C drive. If I want to change the path, can I do it? Answer is yes. But as of now, 
I do not have anything in the drop down button. Reason is very simple because I have a single drive which is C. If in case I had C, D, E, F multiple drives, I would have got the option in this drop down so I can change the path of where the shadow is going to get saved. If I go to details, I can see the shadow that got created is only of 320 MBs. Yes, this is a good step taken by Microsoft. Basically, even in case you have huge data, say for example, 100 GB, taking a shadow of 100 GB will take another 100 GB, which is, you may say, occupying much space. So what they have done is, shadow is not the exact size of the backup, but in this shadow copy, it creates it creates a representation image, or you may simply say it creates an image of your data and that too in a compressed form, hence only taking up 320 MB, saving you a lot of space. If you can see here, it says limit. So by default, I can see the limit. It's around 6 GB. That means shadows up to 6 GB will get created. So it's a simple maths. 300 MB for one shadow, that means I can create 20 such shadows for 6 GB. Why is it so? So that I do not waste a lot of space or you may say I do not use up a lot of space in creating shadows. But yes, if you have a lot of storage, you can increase or decrease the size of shadow or you may set it to no limit. That means there would be unlimited shadow copies getting created. So these are some of the options that you can set onto the server and take huge advantage of this feature known as shadow copies. So this is it guys. This was the practical demonstration and verification for shadow copies. More videos coming up soon. Stay tuned guys.